Are we going to get the moment that's really iconic in the in the comics where Miss Marvel meets Captain Marvel? Are we going to get a little you and Brie Larson meeting in this series, or are we waiting for the film? You're asking a lot of good questions here, man. Yeah, thank you. So what's your relationship like with Brie? I understand that she called you to kind of talk you through what it would be like to join a Marvel film. What was it like having that mentor? It's crazy. I have pictures of her on my wall, and now I have her phone number, so... Should we call her right now? Absolutely not. <laughs> Come on, let's FaceTime her. Let's see if she picks up. My phone is... I don't even know Come where on, it is. I, is that no, it right there? That's it. You don't have it memorized? <laughs> you didn't memorize Bree's phone number? Oh, God, I don't even know what mine is. Um, no, but she's been super supportive, and, you know, having a figure like a Brie Larson kind of hold your hand throughout all of this and, and tell you she's going through the same things that you are is, is just crazy. The fact that the people I relate to now are Marvel actors and, and they're like my peers, it's weird. So your brother told us about your Avengers party? He did. Yes. And even though it will be a distraction from your studies and there will be a lot of haram going on there, Kamala, we have decided to let you go. Really? 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 <laughs> yes, but there are special conditions. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your abu will drive you there and he will go inside with you for two hours. And as far as your dressing goes, I have a surprise for you. The Hulk! I feel like you and Kamala are on very similar paths. Did you feel that while you were shooting this? 100%. Her getting her powers and me getting this part went hand in hand completely. I've heard from your some of your co-stars that uh, you can recite the first five minutes of Iron Man. I can. Is that true? It's my flex. Give me the first like three lines. Okay. Are you driving me to court, Marshall? I feel like you're gonna pull over and snuff me. What is this? <laughs> I'm like so nervous right now. And then he's like, no, there. <laughs> Oh my God. You're doing great, you're doing Terrible. great. I swear, I can do this, I can do the first 10 minutes. I just am so overwhelmed with too many emotions right now. I mean, this is your first big, like, lead role premiere. Like, how are you feeling right now, aside from nervous? Are you able to take this in at all? No. It's, it's, it's so much bigger than me, and, and, you know, we're finally being able to celebrate something that we've been working on for two years, and, and the show for me is, this character has been a part of my life for, for like, God, six, seven years now, and, and it just means the world that I can finally, you know, share what I what I saw when I picked up those comics for the first time. Yeah, I mean, I, I've read the comics as well, and I'm sure they resonated with you in a different way than they resonated with me, but what is it like for you being able to bring an authentic experience, like all of yourself to this role and not have to like hold anything back. You know what I mean? Like being able to say like, oh, actually at dinner, you know, our family might be more like this. So we would do it, you know, this way. Or this yeah. is always a thing that, you know, this is always a relationship that was really strong with us. Yeah, I was super encouraged by, you know, our, all our producers and directors to kind of put as much of our, our real life into, into our characters and make them as specific and as authentic as possible. And I definitely just uh, went to work and was totally playing myself in a large set with all these fun toys around me. So, yeah, it was fun. As a fan of the MCU, what was your favorite Easter egg? Because the first two episodes, there's the, I don't want to ruin anything for anybody, but there's a lot going on where there's a lot of different like references to the films and the shows. What was one of your favorite little drops in there? There's, there's in AvengerCon, there's like a card that says America's ass. It's hilarious. I love that one. 